What up, punks? I just got out of the shower. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. It has been a great day today. I want to tell you a little bit about it. So I woke up this morning and I went to the gym, but wait, I don't have a car. So I ran to the gym and then I did some kickboxing there and then I ran back and then I had a four hour, three hour live stream and it was amazing. It was so much fun. We had a ton of people there. And uh, we were playing Bioshock. It was a shirtless stream, Saturday stream, and just felt like being generous and cheeky and having fun with that. So uh, if you missed that, it'll be going on YouTube soon. Don't worry. Um, but uh, we had a lot of fun. It was three hours long, and just the chat was going the whole time, and it was great. It was so entertaining for me playing and reading the chat, and then for people who were in the chat too. And it was just, it was awesome. So thank you all for everyone who came out to that. And the very exciting piece of news is that uh, during during the live stream, one of my um, favorite old time fans, long time fans, uh, Leah, uh, she created the TJ Smith Fan Club Twitter, which is really funny for me to say. But um, if you guys would like updates, and uh, just she's been tweeting some really funny stuff. She like was taking pictures and uh, screenshots of the of the stream and just some other cool stuff uh and she'll also be a wealth of information probably and updates and whatnot so if you want to follow that the twitter is twitter.com slash tj smith fan club it's very simple and straightforward so i wanted to thank leah for doing that and setting that up um so yeah that i just wanted to put that out there uh and i just wanted to say thank you that that was just super exciting that's like a when someone takes time and energy to set that up and, uh, you know, someone who's been a longtime supporter, that's pretty cool. So, um, shout out to her for that. Uh, and what, what else is going on? Oh, another cool thing that happened today is when I was coming back from the gym, I passed a homeless guy and just, I was feeling good and spontaneously just decided to give him $5.00. And his face just like lit up and he was super happy and appreciative and just started thanking me profusely. And, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes what doesn't mean that much, like $5 to me would mean a, a good lunch at Subway or something. Um, but to him, he was like, he's like, dude, that's my entire day. Thank you. And he's just, to him, that was like, that made his entire day, not just like a meal, but like, you know, it was, it, was, it probably will get him a meal. Um, and he, you know, anyways, it was, it was a really good, good time, good moment. Um, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm having car troubles for those of you who don't know. And, uh, my car was impounded because of an expired registration. It's registered to my mom. And in the past year or two, my mom and stepdad got divorced. And, uh, we think that the registration reminder was mailed to the old house address and then forwarded to my mom's new apartment, but she left that apartment uh, a couple months after she moved in. It was very, very temporary in Atlanta. So then we don't, we don't think that it made it to the brand new apartment where she's been living for not that long. So it's no one's fault really, and but it's like very, very difficult because I'm not on the registration my mom lives in Texas and is a flight attendant. And she was in Germany the past couple of days. And I leave for Nashville on Tuesday and all this stuff. So it's been a very difficult situation. And I'm probably going to lose uh, over $500 just to get it out of the impound. Plus all the registration fees and late fees and all that stuff. So um, that's going to be fun. That's the bad news. That's the bad news. But the good news is all the other stuff that happened today. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about that and say thank you for being in the live stream. Thank you for creating that Twitter. That's going to be really fun in the future and um, all, all sorts of stuff. And I also wanted to show you this present that my mom gave me. Speaking of my mom, she, gave, she sent me a little Easter basket of goodies. And uh, let's, let's go through and open it up, shall we? Let's see if I can put you right her... The light's kind of weird, but that's fine. We'll put the chip up here. All right, that's pretty good. That's not bad. 
Let's see if we can get some light. Let's get a big white screen. There we go. All right, cool. Sweet. So we got this first item that she sent is a foam flying bunny. Fly them high, this bunny in the sky. Great outdoor fun. This lightweight foam bunny is specially, specially designed to fly high and land soft and safe. Safed. Yes, that's a word. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. I, th I have not been by to check my P.O. box in a while. And I can't, because I don't have a car right now. But uh, I hope to get by there before I leave for Nashville so I can pick up any mail that's been there. This is it right here. Ready? Check. <laughs> here we go. Item numero uno. Item numero dos. Check it out! Meow. That's not the sound a bunny makes. Meow, 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 meow. What sound does a bunny make? I actually don't know. Oh, he's really soft. Oh, he's really soft. Uh... It was made in Anhui, China. Holiday home. That's all, that's all really it says. Oh, down here? I wanna know if the dude has a name, like a beanie baby. Nope. Well, he's super soft, and we're gonna name him Velvet. Okay, Velvet. Start including you in my bedtimes. That sounds dirty. Item number.